Hey guys, it's Indy, Pigeon, Wendy, and Roll Around. And, and this, this is Planet, Planet Roller Skate. Five, four, three, two, let's roll. here. Where are we, Pigeon? We are at Houghton Skate Park in Long Beach, California. Cool, what are you gonna do today? Skate? We're gonna skate! Ooh, ooh. Today we're gonna teach you the basics of pumping on a ramp. What's pumping? Pumping is when you push against a transition, either going up or down, in order to gain speed. And it's really fun! Oh, how do you, how do you pump? Let's break it down! <laughs> pumping really revolves around this position that I call cannonball. It looks like this. When you like this filled with stuff you want no more, deconstruct it, yeah. This is something you can practice whether you're on your feet or a brand new roller skater. If you ever want to skate ramps, doing squats just like that will get you totally prepared for what you need to know. <laughs> so anytime you're going into Cannonball, you're absorbing energy. And anytime you're pushing out of cannonball, you're releasing energy. So this is where the pump happens, right here. It's the same way that energy works with the spring. You absorb and then release. Absorb and then release. Ideally, the spring would go straight down, but it doesn't want to come straight absorb. So this is absorbing energy, and this is pumping. Absorb. Pump. Whenever you're first learning how to skate, anytime you get the wobbles, we always did super skater. The same thing applies to ramps. Anytime you're feeling unstable, the straighter you get, the harder you're going to fall. So you want your reaction on ramps to be to absorb and relax anytime you feel unstable. I think the best place to really get comfortable with the concept of pumping is on a bank. So if you can find something like this, Or even better, something like this. Those are pretty perfect spots to learn how to pump. See that little guy? Perfect spot. So you can pump going up a ramp, and you can pump going down a ramp. You can also absorb going up a ramp, and absorb going down a ramp. Like this. Default mode factory. Code, ignition, no intuition, devotion, no notion, transmission, receive. That's a pump. Yeah, now show us absorbing. I felt the power. Yeah, you could see the power. You went higher. The opposite would be to be standing up and then tuck. That's absorbing power? Correct. Pump and absorb. Pump down. Pump down. So we start in a cannonball, right? Yep. And then we pump the bottom where it's. You push all the way down. You push as hard as you can the whole way down. Yeah. And then you get all that speed. Look at that speed. Ow! All right. Crouching at the transition instead of pumping. Yeah. Yeah. So smooth. It reminds me a lot of jumping on a trampoline. Whenever you first learn how to jump on a trampoline, all you want to do is go higher and higher and higher, and then suddenly you realize you don't know how to stop. 
So one of the most important things when you're learning how to jump on a trampoline is learning how to take that energy away. The same thing applies to ramps. So learning how to absorb is just as important as learning how to pump. Thanks for the demonstrate, Pigeon. So to see this in action, I'm going to drop, push on the way down, drop, push on the way up, pull my feet up to absorb my energy, and then drop and push on the way up to keep going. Drop, push to gain more speed, drop, push to pop up, and then absorb by pulling my feet up once again to make sure my landing is secure. <laughs> All right, so that's pumping and absorbing, pretty basic. Uh, now we're gonna take it to a ramp with a bit more transition so that you can see uh, which way you really need to lean your chest and get a feel for what it's like in half pipes and mini ramps and things. Leggy's here. Hi. Cute. It's like romantic right now. <laughs> Last time on your mini ramp? I do. Did it help? Yes, it did actually. Cool. Woo! You want to help us today? Sure. Awesome. Same concept of pumping and absorbing from cannonball to open applies. Even if you start really small. Absorb and pump. Absorb and pump. And then as you feel more comfortable and start to feel your center get stronger, you can go higher. Demonstrate pumping and absorbing. I'm now going to demonstrate pumping and absorbing. Oh, wow. I believe you. Yeah, so try to put your butt on the wall at the top. So go down into a ball. There you go. Down into a ball. Yay! Safe legs. Dang, you look controlled. Do you feel comfortable trying to pump higher now? Uh -huh. Yeah. But see, then you can tell whenever you feel uncomfortable, you go right back in and absorb it again and like keep your control. Good work out. Thank you. You're welcome. It's pretty important to think about what your arms are doing too. Runners always point their fingers forward in order to carry their momentum forward. If you're running like this, it's inefficient. Those dudes usually don't win the race. So the same thing happens in skating. If you're skating like this, you know, like their style, everybody's got their style, I'm down for that, but like when you're really flapping your wings to try to get power, it's just not going to work. So you're traveling forward when you're skating, or sometimes you're traveling backwards, but you always want to be carrying your momentum in the direction you're traveling. <laughs> I'm on a transition, I feel the pressure because I'm pushing against it. And anytime I'm out of control or trying to take my speed away, I feel like I'm picking my feet up and taking all of my power into my body. The end. Thank you guys for watching episode five of Planet Roller Skate. Now remember, pumping is just one tiny element, the most basic element of learning how to skate a ramp. But you could practice just by doing squats before you even learn how to skate. 
Uh, next time we're going to get into some more detailed tutorials, how to carve, how to air. Uh, but until then, later, later skater! skater!